hello everyone today we will study about the mechanism of a chemical reactions let us see what is mechanism at first mechanism is defines as the how the reaction proceeds okay or in which path or in which way the reaction is proceeds okay you can say in another sense what is the steps in which the reaction is proceeds now see let us example let us take an example of decomposition of hydrogen peroxide this one h2o2 means hydrogen peroxide decomposition means fragmentation in more than one part okay now when two moles of hydrogen peroxide reacts in presence of i negative that means iodide iron and alkaline medium it produced two mole of water and one mole of oxygen now in this reactions directly you can say this reactant pan reacted in presence of this catalyst or in presence of this environment and formed this one but what is the internal reaction or how this reactant converted to this product this will explain with the help of mechanism now let us take the mechanism of this reactions see mechanism in first steps the hydrogen peroxide reacted with this i negative ion which is slow step and this produces h2o plus o i negative okay see this o i negative is formed in between these two steps okay in the second step when hydrogen peroxide reacts with this o i negative and produce water and i negative and oxygen molecule now the two remarkable properties here is first property is the this step that means step one is the slowest step in this mechanism and the slowest step is known as rate determining step that means this step is rate rate determining step that means that experimentally the rate is determined with or from the this slowest step not the other step okay but the reaction is proceeding this two way but the rate of the reaction is only dependent on the slowest step that's why this step is known as rate determining step now second remarkable property is the see if you see closely this iron is formed in between these two steps here it is formed but here it is vanishes that means reacted to form i negative again and o2 that's why this ion is called the intermediate ion intermediate ion or directly you can say this one is intermediate intermediate means wo beech mein se hua ya pe reaction hua ya pe reaction hua lekin beech mein ye ion form hua is the intermediate okay now as i said as i said the rate of the reactions depends only the slow step that's why rate is minus d concentration of reactant h2o2 by dt equal to k rate constant concentration of h2o2 into concentration of ion which is in the slow step that's why rate is this one got it no huh. this is a very important concept okay next next we will study about the integrated rate law equations now what it signify the integrated till now till now we just calculated or we just explain the instantaneous rate and average rate okay instantaneous rate means for an instant of time now see in a reaction is occurring from the initial to final so much so much in intense sorry so much instants may come no from suppose zero second where the reactions did not start at the initial point to suppose 10 minute suppose the reactions takes time 10 minutes to complete that's why initial time zero second final time is 10 minute okay in this region between 0 minute to so 0 minute 0 minute to 10 minute so much instant time is there no fraction fraction time 
फाइव सेकेंड फाइव सेकेंड टेन सेकेंड ट्वेंटी सेकेंड दिस वे डेट्स वाई द वी कैन ऑब्जर्व और वी कैन कैलकुलेट सो मच ऑफ इंस्टेंट रेट बट सिंस इट इज सो मच इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू कैलकुलेट ओके डेट्स वाई वी विल यूज द इंटीग्रेटेड दैट मीन्स होल इंटीग्रेट मीन्स होल रेट ऑफ द रिएक्शन दैट्स वाई दस्ट नाउ we only deal with the integrated rate law for the particular rate equations suppose let us example let us take an example of zero order reactions zero order now see when a reactant goes to product the rate of a reaction for the zero order reaction we can write rate equal to minus d concentration of r by dt equal to k concentration of r to the power zero this one power is zero and this two line in don't need okay no need of this two line just see from here and then here r that means rate of the reaction is defined as the decrease in concentrations of r divided by dt equal to k the response rate constant concentration of r to the power zero since it is zero order reactions now anything to the power zero as we know the formula anything to the power zero equal to 1 Anything to the power zero equal to one. That's why R to the power zero means one. This will one. That's why decrease in concentrations of R divided by dt equal to k into one. That means k. Now if we just interchange dr, dr equal to minus kt, minus kt, and dt here is divided. Here should be multiplied. Okay. So I forgot to write dt. Now see here, dr minus kt dt. Now we, if we integrate, if we integrate, then we will get. See, integrating both side, we get integration of dr equal to minus k integration of dt. Since minus k is a constant, that's why it's come out of the integration. Now integration of dr equal to concentration of r minus k into t integration of dt equal to obviously t plus c. C is the integrating constant. Okay. C equal to integrating constant. Integrating constants. Now we have to calculate. We have to evaluate the value of C. When the reaction did not start, that means at t equal to zero, the concentration of the reactants is equal to the concentration of the reactant in zero time. That means the concentration of zero not. Okay. Zero means this zero signifies the at time zero. Now, if R not be, R becomes R not R zero, we can say from this equation number one, one implies this R should be R not no. Thus, I write in place of concentration of R the concentration of R not, and k into zero at since t equal to zero equal to c. That's why this whole terms become zero since it is multiplied with zero. This whole terms become zero. Then C equal to R not R not. Now putting the value of C equal to R not in the equation number one, we get concentration of R equal to minus K T plus concentration of R. If we just the rearrange K T equal to R minus sorry K T equal to here should be R minus R not minus R R not minus R R not minus R And here also, R not minus R by T. Since K here multiplied, here should be divided. Now, now see from this equation, this equation, from this equation, if we want to draw the straight line, straight line. What is the equation of a straight line? Equation of straight line was y equal to m x plus c. Why is the y axis? x is the x axis m is the slope c is the what c is the intercept intercept now as you just compare this to this one y this one m that means slope this one x this one c sorry here should be Not, okay now just see why sorry this one why this one 
x that means t this one slope equal to minus k and this one r naught r naught is the intercept okay that means at time zero the well the concentration of reactant is concentration of reactant zero okay isn't it okay next next we'll discuss about the first order reaction for the first order reaction let us take an example of a reaction when reactant goes to product this one is the simplest reaction and r should be minus concentration and uh, con change in concentration of reactant divided by dt equal to k concentration of r here is one since it is first order reaction no here is one k is the that constant next if you just interchange dr divided by r this one r comes here and this minus dt comes in this side right hand side minus kt in dt now if you just apply the integration on the both side we get we get this one integration and just apply integrations and we know integration of 1 by x dx equal to log of x remember this one log of x since in chemistry directly we can't use the log that's why we use ln ln okay ln that's why in the chemistry particularly integration of 1 by x dx becomes ln x since 1 by r naught dr x x x means here concentration of r that's why ln r ln r uh, integration of kt equal to what directly minus k into t plus c c is the integrating constant now again we have to evaluate the value of c when t becomes zero that means the reactions did not start the concentration of r becomes the concentration of r not that means zero that's why from the equation number one we can say this whole terms become zero no and c equal to ln r not ln r not okay clear no clear next next putting the values of c values of c this means one value value of c on equation one we get ln r minus k into t plus c means ln r not ln r not okay huh. just simply we just rearrange just this ln y here is plus here should be minus this minus now ln as you know log a minus log b equal to log of a by b no here in place of log we just use ln ln a plus minus ln b equal to ln a by b that's why ln r minus ln concentration of r naught equal to ln concentration of r naught divided by concentration of r this one this one nothing okay this one nothing that's why equal to kt now see here the minus i just interchanged okay if you just multiply with minus by the whole term suppose minus one i multiplied here also minus one i multiplied okay minus into plus minus ln r minus minus plus minus a uh, plus here minus minus plus kt that's why i have interchanged okay huh. that's why ln r naught by r equal to kt k equal to one by t ln now for our calculations we have to use log in place of ln when we interchange ln with log we have to apply 2.303 that's why k equal to 1 by t into 2.303 log of concentration of r naught divided by concentration of r okay now see again from this equation this equations is very important okay as i said the equation of a straight line is y equal to mx plus c this one y this one m means this k x this one c so just try to write okay try to write the graph try to draw the graph suppose i'm taking here x means c x means t no t here y means lnr lnr here is minus k is the slope since the slope is minus that's why the graph should be from upper to lower okay if it is plus slope then then lower to upper and it is c that means intercept ln r naught 
सपोज आई हैव टेकन दिस वन अप टू दिस मच एल एन आनोड देन द ग्राफ शुड बी दिस वे नो दिस वन इज द स्लोप स्लोप इक्वल टू माइनस की नाउ इफ वी नो द स्लोप देन वी विल इजीली कैलकुलेट द के रेट कांस्टेंट यस और नॉट यस नाउ लेट अस टेक एन अदर एग्जांपल ऑफ अ ग्राफ दस टेक दिस वन For this particular equation, we assume that this one y, this one m, this one x. Okay, m x m now it is plus t is x. So see, this one equation, this one t, this one l n are not divided by r. Now see, there is no value of c. That means c is zero, no. C is zero. If C is zero, that means intercept should be zero. That's why the the straight line should go via origin. That's one. This one is origin. Since C is zero, that means intercept zero. The line should be this way. Okay? Ha. Huh. This way. And the slope equal to what? K slope equal to K. Okay. 